good morning from Santorini. I'm gonna start my vlog here. I think so. I look like this because I decided to spend three days not wearing makeup. It's not gonna happen, of course. But um, maybe my so over it, so shady will help me. I'm wearing my Hermes hat and a bikini. And I'm gonna show you my total look later. But right now, I really need to have some food. So let's go and eat. Here are my uh, goat cheese gnocchi. Got some um, Greek salad, olives, cheese, bread. I really need to stop eating bread. I ate so much in Italy. I promise I'll show you my outfit. So here it is. I am wearing um, Hermes pants, like they're like kind of like a beach pants, as well as an Hermes bikini top and a hat. Uh, and then I've got a little bit of a, like a straw bag. I love this for my beach bag, and I actually had this gifted from um, like Sky for in celebration of their uh, TV show Riviera. So I'm very lucky because I love this bag. I love this hat as well. What I love the most about it is that it cannot fly away because it's tight around my neck. I also have shoes, but it's so difficult to walk in shoes in Santorini and I'm not wearing any makeup as I told you, so. I will let you in and show you around this little cave. It's kind of like dark because all the windows are down. It's literally the cave. Over here, we have some of my favorite stuff and creams. Of course, we went to shop to buy some waters because no one is rich or stupid enough to drink water from the minibar. Nobody, nobody. And then this is something that I get in Serbia. It's called Biobaza. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. If you guys know, let me know. Then Nivea Sun, SPF 6. Literally, no one should use SPF 6. Obviously, I did not bring that myself. My new beach bag is here. Just got back from the pool. Oh, I didn't select the breakfast menu. Then the bed is here. She's actually very comfortable and I sleep around three times a day when I'm in Santorini. I don't know why. I get up at like six, then shoot, then sleep, then eat, then sleep some more late afternoon. Just makes me very, very relaxed, this place. Then here, we got one of my new dresses. It's a Zero and Maxi linen dress. I don't know if you guys have seen it already, but I love it. And you will see it again in this video. In the bathroom, we have everything that you might expect from one bathroom to have, including this swimming suit, which is drying because I took a picture in it. But anyway, that's basically it. I forgot to say we're staying at the Charisma Suites. I'm loving it here. I think the staff is amazing. The service is great. Just wanted to say like, paid for it. My, like it's not a sponsored thing. I'm not like promoting it because it's sponsored. I'm just very, very happy with it. So, so much about actually having a holiday. I love it. Oh, and forgot to tell you and show you the most important part, which is here. We have this little kind of like a jacuzzi thing and the view and the best sunset view in the whole of Santorini, which is just insane. And then this is the hotel. It's so stunning. I cannot even deal. Beautiful. So yeah, that's a little 360 of the whole. morning everybody from my Santorini cave now the lights gonna go crazy but before it does the swimming suit that I've got today is from a designer called Carla Coletto and I love it so much when it arrived it took me a good 20 minutes to realize how to get into it Ooh, sunny 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 where are my so shadies I need to get a pair pronto my favorite meal of the day especially when it's in a hotel mmm granola fruits eggs French toast, I mean, you know, and orange juice, and all of that with this view. And I'm actually on a holiday. You know, I say I'm on a holiday, but I'm not. I'm actually vlogging. However, 
For me, vlogging is not really like a chore or a difficult thing. What's difficult for me are usually like emails and administrative work, just kind of general correspondence. Which sunglasses should I go for? I'll go for the So Chic. Natural curly hair is back. General correspondence is the hardest for me. So I'm avoiding kind of discussing any jobs, any work, any money, and I really enjoy that because I'm not someone who chases the money in general. I'm someone who chases loving life. Okay guys, my favorite moment of the day is pretty much over. I am now enjoying soy cappuccino. Mm. And I want to actually sunbathe a little bit. I know it's probably not the best like thing to advise people to sunbathe, but I love sunbathing. I love getting that vitamin D from the sun, what I call vitamin C, as in not letter C, but C. Just because we don't really get it much in England and also like I really am always very careful I, I try not to sunbathe my face because I don't like when my face is too tanned even though it's nice because you then don't have to wear as much makeup and everything feels so great but I actually don't like when what my face looks like when it's tanned there's some Greek telenovela going downstairs it also like my kind of like little blemishes and stuff they go darker you guys know that I have pigment prone skin so that's never a good thing I cannot look up oh I can like this I want to have like a little swim I my hair looks weird because I applied some hair mask I'll show you which hair mask I applied Coco and Eve like a virgin it says super nourishing coconut and pink hair mask I love this one because it smells really really great and it's very thick and it's just really nice and moisturizing this product was actually gifted to me it is Kerastase it kind of protects your hair from the UV, UV rays this one I bought myself I'll link it below so you guys can check it out because I think it's very very nourishing I like these both when I'm on summer holidays okay guys I really wanted to film the sunset but I'm not even ready yet the problem when being way too relaxed is that every night I kind of am not ready for dinner yet <laughs> at sunset time so we see it from our balcony, but I just don't get to enjoy it like fully dressed. But this holiday is not about really taking pictures. I take a picture if there's like an opportunity, but I'm not like running around trying to make sure that there's a picture opportunity. It's only three days and after this little break, I have very, very intense July. Yeah, I mean June and July. Curly as ever. I'll show you my outfit later, but I've got Chanel earrings. I've got this beautiful top. It's absolutely stunning, a little bit see-through, but I've got like a little triangle bra underneath. Uh, very cute. It's by this Peruvian designer. Well, my eyes are like sensitive and I didn't bring sunglasses. Well, that's not very smart for someone who designs sunglasses. By Peruvian designer called Jorge Salinas, I think. I'm pretty sure. I will insert his Instagram here because I think he's just really talented and does a great job um, designing clothes for women. Also got my pink Chanel shorts and the sandbag that you guys know I love so much and this is the makeup of the day so very curly at the moment. I'm running late for dinner, just like 10 minutes late so it's okay, sunset time is in one hour. I always look so zoomed in here. How does this work? Of course, million stairs. This is probably like the nicest place. I actually forgot the name of this restaurant, but I will leave the name somewhere here. This is the view. And then we get the sunset in around 30 minutes. But first, things first, right? Isn't this just stunning? I'm talking kind of quietly because we are in a restaurant, as you can see, but this for me is just something out of this world. I'm so grateful that I get to see this in EM, yeah, in Santorini. So the sun has now set. As you can see over there, it's still so beautiful and so romantic. And Insalata Greca, creo que se dice Insalata Greca. Tenemos pasta and fish, cod. I really don't know how to say cod in Spanish, but 
please help me if you know. Ah, I think I know. Bacalero? Or I just made that up. I don't know. It's 5.22 and I look like a major creep because I have this hat on the way you shouldn't really have it. Gucci blazer, white pants and a top. Of course I'm not gonna like pack, I'm not gonna pack this hat in the suitcase, you know, like it's gonna break. So, this is a little form of masochism because for some reason I'm on a 6.20 a.m. flight. I haven't really vlogged much, but um, I vlogged a little bit and I think it's time to go back home. I'm actually flying to Belgrade for two days because I think, I mean, it's very exciting. We have, mm, this is very exciting for me. I don't know if I should announce it yet. I'm pretty sure we have a new member of the team that I'm going to meet and um, yeah, that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna catch up with Christina as well, catch up with Mina. I mean, I see Mina a lot. Christina I've seen, I saw like a month ago. So I'm gonna go see them both now as well in Belgrade. I'm only gonna go for two days, party a little tiny bit and then go back to work Monday morning. So that's the deal. Um, you know, traveling with my beloved Louis Vuitton on the go and my Horizon hand luggage. And yeah, gonna go boarding soon. So flying Santorini, Athens, Athens, Belgrade, because of course there is no direct flight. Good morning from not Santorini, from Belgrade. I'm actually here just for the weekend because Santorini is very. Did I break it? No. Ooh. Good morning from Belgrade. Yeah, so Santorini is much closer to uh, Serbia than to London. Oh, basically, what I wanted to say is that um, I'm in Belgrade for two days and I'm kind of incognito here because I'm trying to surprise my dad tomorrow. So, uh, my sister and I, last time I was in Serbia, I surprised my mom. Like, <laughs> I, I came home quite late. I knocked on the door and she said she couldn't even recognize me when she looked through the, the thingy, you know, the hole in the door. It was quite dark though, so ah, long story short, I surprised her. She almost cried like it was so cute and this time I'm gonna surprise my dad. No one knows I'm in Serbia and what I'm gonna do is like, my sisters kind of told him that he has to go tomorrow morning to some cafe to give something, uh, to take something from her friend. And my dad says, sure, hello bird. You're so funny. And then um, my dad's gonna meet me tomorrow, but he doesn't know that, so it's gonna be a surprise. Uh, first things first, let's go and eat something. Oh, I forgot to film because you guys know that um, I was so hungry. It's like 2 p.m. already. Yeah, and I have a massage and um, manicure later on, so kind of had to rush and then I forgot to film. But I'm eating like a tuna steak with some and prawns and salad in truffle oil it's divine one thing that i have to say is that food in belgrade is the best my focus guys a little update i don't know what i look like but i just had a massage wow am i in focus yes look at the hair wow that's the worst hair i've ever seen anyway i just had a massage and it was so good and i also had my nails that like very you know my style i'm gonna go and try and it's a different shade to what I've what I normally go so I'm gonna try and get you a name but before that I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this I have only one hour and then I have to do an interview um, with possibly a new team member and then what's going on and then that's it going out tonight with my friends and tomorrow morning surprising my dad and then I'm off to London Hopefully you will hear me, otherwise I will shout. I'm wearing an absolute art piece by Melman tonight because we're going to Selfridges for an event uh, with Olivia Royston, who kindly invited me to the event of their pop-up launch to... Well, he didn't personally invite me to the event. That sounds so obnoxious and how usually influencers make it sound. No, like the brand invited me to come. I don't know why, but they invited me. Basically, I'm wearing a stunning, stunning, stunning Balmain dress that I love so much. We're heading to Selfridges now, and I cannot wait to show you what goes on there. Oh, Selfridges is back with the usual suspect, and not so usual suspect. <laughs> We're at the 
Mama event. I have very restrictive, restrictive movements. Do you need help, darling? Maybe. Okay. Yay! This is so much better. Now you can see. So what are we doing? We are at the Mama event. What is your intent? Just walk yeah. around that and it's pretty amazing. He complimented uh, Camilla's outfit because she's the only one not wearing Mama. Obama event. I just headed to Balenciaga to repurchase the shoes that I already had before. I'll show you a picture in a moment. It seems to be a week like that because I already repurchased a pair of sneakers from Dior that I had before but that I destroyed. But it's a good sign. It just means that they are amazing. So I need to go and pay now. I ran into so many of you today at Selfridges looking like this. So if you saw me and I didn't explain, I'm sorry, I'm not a crazy person shopping in like a Balmain gown. I was just after an event. I don't think I've ever been in my life excited to drink this drink. But also, I know people always speculate what do I eat, what do I not eat. And let me tell you that I truly like to enjoy my life. This is pistachio dulce de leche raspberry tart and this is something called napoleon i have no idea what it is by Lowe's divine good morning what kind of pharmacist knows she suffers with hay fever yet doesn't bring any antihistamines really i don't know having breakfast it's a new day after the obama event yesterday and i kind of realized this vlog is gonna have a lot of holes in it so i need to fill you in i'm of course having breakfast and doing online shopping because that's me I'm gonna eat now and then I'm gonna fill you in on everything that you probably didn't understand during this vlog I think I owe you a bit of an kind of explanation in a way that sounds like I've done something wrong not in that way but just in a way what has ha been happened what's been happening these last few days I'm so vibrating of course after Santorini I flew to Belgrade as you could have seen I was there for I think like a day and a half overall it just was kind of convenient because Greece is very close to Serbia and then not so close to London so I went to Serbia I surprised my dad in Belgrade and I also um, sort of like interviewed I guess a new member of our team which went really well and I'm very happy about it I had drinks with Christina on Saturday night I saw my best friend on Saturday night my best friends on Saturday night we went clubbing until 5 a.m. which is not very common for me but while I went clubbing till 5 a.m. it was basically kind of like raining and horrible weather in Belgrade so I destroyed my favorite 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 shoes I mean when you go clubbing in Splavovi that's what happens like I'm kind of embarrassed to show you this because guys the satin Balenciaga heels that I love so much have given their life up on Splavovi but like I said yesterday dun, 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 that's how much I love them and they're on sale right now which is what I will link below they are on sale and I think they cost me like 300 pounds 297 something like that and look at this this is how much I love them you know when people say like oh these bloggers they just feature things that they don't actually wear they're sponsored no this is how much I love this I repurchased them old new I mean actually I bought them in 39 now I'm so sorry to show you this terrible looking soul. I'm 39 normally, but I got them last time in 40, so I repurchased them in 39 because the sling back kept dropping on the foot and I'm packing as you can see in the background, so that's getting packed. In the same way, I repurchased, 
I got him gifted because the first pair was also a gift for I think my something not my birthday but something and then I really wore them so much I will insert pictures or video if I have now for you to see what they were like and the new ones I'm in Dior right now trying on the shoes which I already have over here <laughs> but I love them so much however sadly I did this, I pulled too hard and I broke them, so I'm sending them off to Paris to be fixed and then cleaned hopefully as well. And then getting these ones because I cannot live or imagine my life without them. And I'm so happy to have the new shoes. I got them in the same size because I wore them so much. So I repurchased these babies because I love them so much and because they're just like the most versatile shoes. Like in my every single whole video when I'm trying on stuff I always say like oh my Dior sneakers will go very well now they're clean and new and fabulous and the old ones were not just dirty but also I broke them because I I think I was in Milan in Versace trying something on and I pulled really hard when I was closing them and I ripped them so my bad but so this week was about kind of buying new old things in a way which i never normally do i never normally repurchase stuff but the pink balenciaga satin mules are so comfortable they are so fabulous they go well with jeans with skirts with dresses they like dress up every outfit they add that touch of fashion to everything and i love them so much i have them without the sling back I'm sorry i must be so popular today so that's what happened on saturday night when we went out ruined the shoes bought the new shoes later on on sunday morning i surprised my dad my sister told him to meet her friend in a cafe in like a random cafe and then i showed up and i filmed it but obviously i'm not gonna insert it but my dad's face was the most shocked face i've ever seen in his life like he did not expect me he did not see it coming and the last time i did the same to my mom i surprised my mom i love my parents i love surprising them so much like it's kind of crazy because growing up they like did all of these little things like they would do like surprises for me like my mom would for example wake up one morning and like wake my sister up and say like hey we're like going away like kind of like a little surprise thing and that's what my parents loved doing while we were growing up so now my sister and i are really doing the same we're like real little pranks one like recently like in the last kind of four or five years uh, it was my sister's birthday and we were in england uh, and we left the house to go to like a pub and my mom was outside of the building leaving a taxi no one knew not even i knew that she was coming like these kind of things we do in my family and um i did the same to my dad and he's he told me this morning that he's still shocked about what happened this stop is kind of crazy sorry that's basically what i did on sunday and then i came to london and then in london as you guys know i had the bama event last night i kind of like did a bit of work few meetings i have two meetings today and then i'm heading to brighton which i'm so excited about because i'm going to see my nephews my favorite people in the world i'm still packing so this is like aftermath i picked this suitcase from rimwawa yesterday it was getting repaired because the zips the zip almost broke packing my bag bags in in the hand luggage as always and then that's the suitcase i was traveling with for the last 10 days yeah i have a bit of packing to do and then i have to leave i also have to return this is the pr sample of the balma dress i'm sending that back to france to balma but yeah overall that was incredible i um had a really great like 10 days i guess well from centrini it'd be like a week but yeah, I had a really, really great time. And now it's time to go back to Brighton. So next vlog will probably be like a homey one. And then I'll see you very soon. Thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>